you must really love me. He keeps on working on it to get it just right. It's 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 losing water just enough that it won't last overnight. If it would last 24 hours, because I'm used to dumping some in in the morning. Yeah, I understand. I really appreciate it. Well, I'm going to give it one more try. You sucker the glue up, epoxy that sucker up for me. <laughs> Here's Morris. He got a little agitated that Don was nearby, but not not enough to leave his food. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. I was uh, taking the chicken off the bone last night at uh, 11 o'clock, something like that. I'm sure the kitties all appreciate it. Marty ate in the house. He, he gets meat in the house and dry chow outside. He's, he's very, <laughs> very determined. So my buddy. Stripes up there in the woods doing his thing. We have uh, completed the morning watering. Don was out here helping me. We've got another mid 90 day high heat index. Not a shower in sight. So, we now officially could use some rain. But, you know, we got to have a couple of extra dry weeks in the summer. That's what summer does, you know. Showers and dry and hot in between here. So, can't really complain. Hopefully, we'll get a shower soon. Hey, Donnie! Hey, Thanks for the watering help this morning. It was getting pretty burdensome considering we haven't had meaningful rain in a week now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, and we got lots of plants. And we got lots of plants. It takes a lot, the maple trees in the containers. They need, um, they need. I let you go enjoy your paper for the few minutes that you have. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's only getting hotter. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's going to be pretty hot today. Yep. I was just saying that, um, it's a lot of work to keep the maple trees in the pots fully watered. Sometimes the other stuff um, doesn't get what it needs because I prioritize the maple trees. But we'll see. I may have to come out this afternoon and water the perennial border a bit if it's looking too wilty. Hi, Tux. Hi, buddy. I'll come sit on the step with you for just a minute. Come on, bud. Hey, bud. Hi. You too, Mart? Every day this week I've come back from the walk and I've had to rush off someplace so I haven't been able to sit very long. Poor Panther, he's waiting on his breakfast and so is Gray, but... Since you guys are up and walking around and wanting attention, I got a couple minutes for you. It's a good boy. Hi, Mart. I do have on my Cybertruck pants this morning. Ah... <laughs> uh. The yellow flower there is expanding down the hill, which is where you would expect the seeds to go, I guess. And last two or three days, I've been weeding to free it up. It's looking better. Still use a little more work. Yep, you guys rest while it's still cool enough out to do so. Hi, Stripe. Hi, Q stuff. Hey, Tux. The keeper of the back door. There's where you're supposed to be. That's right. <laughs> so give us an update on the light rail. Uh, the um, various different uh, county and city people for Raleigh, Wake, and Durham, and Durham County went with the Triangle Transit Committee, uh, committee members to Washington, D.C. back in March. And the Federal Transportation administration told them flat out that they w that they are getting no money to build a commuter rail system so the those people who attended that meeting they kept it quiet until this week yeah Don wants to know where his tax I money went money back. and I guess they had already knew they were in trouble with the size of the program and they had tried to split it right, up into already... smaller pieces but I guess the because the government the the program was like 50 percent of it which that is substantial in, right they, uh, right they had they were basically counting on half the money coming from the government yeah and in fact they the paper said that the tax increase didn't even uh cover the half that they were expecting to put up so basically they're close to like three quarters of the money is short so there's no 
I mean, they didn't say there will never be, but it's, there's no way it's going to move forward. So they decided to... Do bus rapid transit. Well, plan for a whole nother year or something. Oh, they're going to oh, go right. back gonna, to the planning board on it. Well, but that's it. But what's going to happen is they're going to uh, they're going to start the one BRT line that they've been ta collecting taxes 2016 on this, and so they haven't turned a shovel yet. All they've done is spend money on studies, and they're going to they wanted to do the proposal in 2016 were four BRTs, but mostly it was commuter rail. So now they're thinking they might be able to actually start the one BRT on New Bern Avenue, which is where you used to drive. Yep. Uh, into this year, the other three they don't know anymore. They're going to go back and reevaluate, and that study's going to kick off this fall and take a year. So uh, as I said way back when. Uh, in 2016 when they said, oh, well, they'll be the first rider in 2026. I said, there's no way. They have. They won't even turn a piece, a shovel by 2026. But, but please say that you don't really like being right about these things. You wanted it to be affordable and easy to implement and all of that stuff. You just knew better. Right. Well, I just wanted it to delay. Oh, and the, and the, uh, the FTC, the reason that they told them that the commuter rail is now passe. It's so 20th century because commuters aren't eight to five anymore. There's all these mobile people. So having these commuter focused transit systems are no longer strategic for uh, the FTA. They, they need a holistic uh, transportation plan. And so worrying about how people get from North Raleigh to RTP is of no concern. Yeah, well, apparently Charlotte's works really well, and Johnny's going to get to make use of it, but they built it 10, 15, 20 years ago. The um, trying to do it now, yes, it just get, every expensive. day it gets harder and with you, the, um, the condemning of the land and the, yeah. You yeah. can't move those rails. That's the thing with BRT. I'm not a big fan of BRT, but it's at least better than rail. Yeah. And then, because my whole point in two, 2016 is I had said, that by the time they get this program underway, autonomous taxis, buses, and all that will be out there. So the, the type, you know, people are going to be getting in the ride sharing type things or, or public pods uh, to carry them to work and stuff like that. That's well, how it's going to be. If Elon has his way, it'll be boring company tunnels under, you well, know, but ground. That too, but that's, yep. a, yeah, I'm just saying is that. If you need to get commute to downtown Raleigh, you just tell the mobile pod and it's going to come and pick you up at your door and then it's going to go to the South Park and it's going to link up with 50 other little mobile pods and it's going to be like a little pod train moving up 401 to downtown. And then when you get close to the your place off, it'll split off and carry you over here and carry me over there. That's the way the thing, it's going to be along those lines. You're just going to be in individual pods. I mean, two people, maybe four person pods. I don't even think the concept of a 20 passenger van thing is going to be practical unless you, sure. you know uh, that there's a lot of commuters. Like if you were going to Wake Tech, I could see a little local pod carry you to South Park and you get on a, a 20 or 40 person pod and go to Wake Tech, like a school bus type situation. But most people, it doesn't do any good. They don't want to change from the 20 person to another one to another one to another one they just want the pod to pick them up and the same pod drop them off at their destination they don't and if it has to link up for reasons other reasons that's fine but they don't want to they don't want to get out of it and so we'll see yeah i like the movie logan's run where the little tramish looking system with the two person pods yeah. shows up all over the city and you just hop in it and a lot of them are empty and some of them are full when they show up and it just runs all the time it's kind of like a ski lift right only it's uh not you know it's uh flat it's horizontal it's a little like mini tram train thing i always looked at that as being oh that would be so cool if our city worked like that um, right. Go back and watch the 1976 movie. You'll yeah. see what I... It's one of my favorites. Well, um, it's going to be interesting to see. I, I'm just simply saying that the autonomous um, mover vehicle uh, is going to change the way commuting and public transportation is provided. 
these great big 40 foot articulated buses which they're not going to be around much longer with the driver it's just it's too expensive yeah so speaking of wake tech right uh you know the new middle school set to open fall of 24 next year next year the one they're building like less than a mile and a half yeah. as the crow flies from our house basically right um we're really looking at how that might affect the traffic pattern as we've discussed up there at main street and wagstaff and main street and bowling road with all the buses and more importantly all of the parents driving their children themselves over to the school but but so downtown where the old middle school is, the historic downtown middle school, Fuquay. downtown Fuquay is basically right, it's three blocks, four blocks off Main Street. It's, it's right down there. Um, they're in discussions with a technical school about possibly them taking over the building. Mm -hmm. So maybe we could have a mini Wake Tech location in Fuquay. Mm -hmm. Um, not decided yet. People were asking on Facebook last night, so what exactly is happening with that building and why didn't they just renovate it? It was so convenient to downtown and the people that lived there. We liked our middle school where it was. Why does it now have to be, you know, two miles in, 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 you know, in traffic in the other direction? So anyway, it's undecided as to what they're doing with that building, but they're in talks with a technical school, unnamed technical school. There's only one around here, so that would be Wake Tech. So we'll see. We'll see. We don't want it to sit there empty and then in 20 years then bulldoze it down because it's a derelict building. So hopefully it'll that. find a tenant. Right. Uh, I, I, yeah. Keep your eyes out if you see anything. Correct. Panther! Hi! It's a good thing you're patient with me. It is. Hi, bud. How's my good boy? Yeah, Don ordered the stuff in the front yard. Went down to the bridge, got my impatient plants, made sure everything there was all nice and wet this morning. I appreciated the help. It's all looking as good as it can, all things considered. Whoa, careful there, Missy. I'm not gonna take your stuff away. She was, um, she got chicken at 11. I waited to feed her until I had what she liked. But I see you've cleaned out both bowls. When there's two bowls in the morning, that just means that when I came in to give her her dinner, she might not have done a good job on the prior bowl. And then sometimes overnight when the house is quiet, she seems to come out and eat a little more. So you got more chicken, but if you're not super hungry this morning, I'll understand why. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. A shady part of this trail is always appreciated. Weatherbug says it's currently 89 but feels like 93. And we have a heat advisory up for heat indexes. Feel, feel temperature between 105 and 109. It says through Saturday at 8 p.m. I thought tomorrow was supposed to be a little cooler, but who knows. We're just trying to do the right thing and get in our exercise, even though it's certainly not what we would consider pleasant out here. I'd like nothing better than to get caught in a summer shower thunderstorm today. <laughs> not going to happen, though. Here comes the hill, our favorite part of the walk. This hill and then the one up to the parking lot at the very end. They... Uh, you notice it. The splash pad is busy. People having fun. We've done our three laps around the track. We're headed toward completion and shade. Not in that order, but. <laughs> oh, it looks like so much fun. And yes, of course I could put on my suit and come up here and take a splash. I really should one time before the year ends. I like it. Get up underneath the bucket with my camera. <laughs> yeah, the little kids, they always start counting as if that will force the bucket to, to dump quicker. <laughs> it's good that they're practicing their counting though. It's getting close. There it goes. Oh, that's so much fun. I love it. 
There's my cyber truck girl. See that cyber wrap on her pants there? But all I could find was a bicycle shirt to go with it. I might need my very own cyber truck shirt. Yeah, that's right. Or appropriate. Yeah. Matching yeah. Tesla shirt. Yeah, we should get you a cyber truck shirt. Cyber truck shirt. If you're gonna wear the cyber truck camouflage. Oh. <laughs> Bet she'll never wear that F-150 wrap. No. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> you can see. The resolution's not quite as good. Yeah, but it's not, you know, that's not to imply that it's bad. Yeah, well, you're not watching YouTubes on it. Is that okay? This one is supposed to turn sideways. Right. Yes. Landscape or portrait mode. It's got a really fancy stand. Oh, that is sweet, Donnie. Yeah, I like that. That is really sweet. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to like that just fine. <laughs> Don wants to be able to read lots of lines of code or error logs at one time. And yeah. so for that, you want vertical versus wide. And yeah. he's got the nice screen in front of him for, you know, wide. And this one over here is your other older screen, right? The one that you bought is in the center. This, this, this you had from a long time ago. Yeah, this is, I uh, bought this in 2008. This so it's is, two years newer than this one that we just um, <clears throat> acquired. Right. <laughs> right. Cool. And this one I just got. Right. A couple years ago, a year and a uh, half ago, yeah, something. Yeah. 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 18 months. Yes, a, uh, less than two years. Well, now I'm officially the only one in the house that doesn't have a multi-monitor location. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see about this, that. I'm not much... This is good for the kind of work I do. Yeah. This is the right work. Yeah, this exactly. This is the right way. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. This is not good for the work I do. This is fine for videos and stuff like that, but I'm reading books all the time, and to put up the whole page, uh, I'm thinking that's going to work really well. Boy, Gray, you get to make two appearances in the video today. She's calming down after being moved to the bathroom for me to vacuum in here. Under the couch and by Johnny's computer over there and stuff. I'd vacuumed, sort of did this side the other day. Under the couch was, you know, work. But look. I do have to point this in the right direction. There. Don and I just put up hooks instead of tape and it's a new light string we ordered new lantern lights but johnny wanted the old lantern colors so he did that so don helped me make it better like he does everything my cat mugs are up there or my mugs for a little while um things the last thing i wanted to do before johnny came home he bought himself a nice john deere tractor at an antique store up there that he wants to add to his collection so we'll figure that out and um, my 20-year-old propeller had come apart. And I had ordered a new one. It came broke twice from Amazon. But Don and I were able to put, back, put it back together. And I've got my fish tank back on. So this room is in good shape. It's in good shape for Johnny to come home. Even if it's only for a couple of weeks. But it'll always be here for him. And it's in much better. It's in good shape for him. Right, Gray? Right. So it's Olivia's electric car 41443 and it's powered by it looks like solar and wind is what she uses to charge her car <laughs> and then I had this little forest waterfall that I thought might look good over here with the little campground area so anyway um Johnny will be home in a bit and it'll be time for me and Don to break our fast and have something to eat I got steaks but um I'm going to put this together. This is not a lot of parts. Here, let me... Don's going to show off his new setup. Yeah, I've got um, the ability now over here. You just drag and drop it and it just shows up? Uh-huh, it does. I'm dro I've never seen anybody work with multiple monitors before, believe it or not. I mean, I knew people at IBM that had them and all that good stuff, but I never... Yeah, so I've got, you know, this... New monitors vertical, as you can see, it's uh, it's you know, plenty good resolution. This that's as bright as it can get. So, as you if you notice here, it's not white like this one, sure, or this one over there, but that's as bright as it can get. Uh, but it's plenty good. I, I plan to use this for whenever I'm, I'm looking at PDFs and stuff, manuals. Uh, um, you need a book up while you're doing something else, yeah, and because it's it's you know, that's a good page length. 
So look at what he did here. He had this old crane and he mounted it. This is from when you had your back surgery? Yeah, all those years ago, 20 years, 20 plus years ago, 1996. So here's the fancy IBM stand that allows this monitor to turn, but it's sitting on this crane. So it brought it up at the same level as the other monitors. I tell you what, let me just touch you. <laughs> I'm special. You are. Anyway, so this should be really helpful. I, I, I basically typically have my uh, 3270 emulator that the, when I'm installing and working with the product, I tend to have this one on the main screen I'm interacting with. This screen is going to be, like I said, a manual. And this one over here is going to be email, web app, messages and, from your wife so you don't like not that. see them. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> this is the stay out of trouble side. <laughs> Way cool, Donnie. It's yeah. looking good. Thank you, sweetie. That's Johnny home. I heard the driveway alert. I agree. I'm shutting down. Well, I guess I could leave it up. Wow. Real That's Johnny's McCoy. new John Deere metal, real running, working treads yeah. tractor. That's, That's way cool. It's heavy. Yeah. It's all metal. Wow. That is impressive. it up in just the nick of time see our little car is plugged in it has um the license plate on the back only a rear tag no front tags and it says i love and we're just going to assume let me get that green energy and um, i added a few flowers and pieces of vegetation and little ground pebbles to this set but um you know, just a few things to make it look a little fuller. And I'm done just in time for steak.